Central, CBI, hosts workshop to implement standards issued by the Islamic Financial Services Council, 7 April 9th. April 10, 2019 Economy News Baghdad and Baghdad, the Central Bank of Iraq hosted a workshop to implement the banking standards issued by the Islamic Financial Services Council between 7 and April 9, 2019. In the presence of a delegation of Islamic Financial Services Council members, the focus was in this workshop, said the Central Bank in a statement read by Economy News. On benchmark number 15, the revised capital adequacy standard for institutions providing Islamic financial services and guidance on the practice of supporting the payment of profits to investment account holders. The workshop also focused on guidance on capital adequacy criteria, determining the alpha factor in the capital adequacy ratio, the bank added, and guideline number six, quantitative measures for liquidity risk management. The workshop aims to enhance participants' understanding of the standards and guidelines issued by the Islamic Financial Services Council to assist participants in the practical application of issues addressed by the standards and to encourage the exchange of experiences among participants on the operationalization of standards and principles, the bank said. Guidance issued by the Islamic Financial Services Council the workshop was held for the first time in Iraq in the presence of members and instructors by the Islamic Financial Services Council based in the Malaysian capital of Kuala Lumpur, which was established in 2002. And the Central Bank of Iraq obtained full membership in the council. Abdul Mahdi, Settling Salaries Inhibits Corruption April 10, 2019 Economy News Baghdad Prime Minister Adel Abdel Mahdi said that settling the salaries of state employees and banks contributes to the fight against corruption and its blockade pointing to the emergence of large corruption files in the coming period. Abdul Mahdi said at his weekly conference on Tuesday that he continued diligently to follow the work of the Supreme Council against corruption, and that there are many initiatives that are beginning to be recorded on how to trap corruption. Noting that among these steps the question of settling salaries, and through this step there is a great cordon of the aliens, and curb the phenomenon of the unauthorized disbursement of sums of money, so that the amount of the salary goes to the rightful owner only. There is significant corruption through multiple payment methods, payroll, so we have already pointed out that corruption is a system and not only is bad or corrupt even though they exist, and we must surround corruption with systems. Abdul Mahdi revealed. There are corruption files that will emerge in the coming period, and some of these files have come into effect, he said. Mesopotamia launches its application to smartphones. Tarek Terrier. 2019-4-10122. 220 times read. Baghdad, Euphrates News, the Rafudain Bank announced on Wednesday that it has launched its application to smartphones in the Android, Apple platforms in collaboration with the International Smart Card Company. In collaboration with the International Smart Card Company, it will launch its application to smartphones, calling on its customers to download the free application, the bank said in a statement on Monday. The application of the Rafi Dane Bank will make it possible to check the balance of the financial electronic card and to know and inquire about it as well as the latest movements to withdraw funds from the card, the statement said. It's over. Rafi Dane Bank launches an application on smartphones to see the balance of the Eckerd October 4, 2019, independent. The Rafi Dane Bank, on Wednesday, launched an application on smartphones to see the balance of the electronic card. The bank has launched an application in cooperation with the international smart card company to be applied to smartphones in the platforms, Android, Apple, Al Rafidain News said in a statement. The bank called on its customers to download the free application, Rafidain Bank, to see the balance of its financial electronic card and to know and inquire about it as well as the latest transactions that were withdrawn from the card. Finance Minister Government starts early in preparation for the 2020 budget April 10, 2019 Economy News, Baghdad Finance Minister Fuad Hussein said on Wednesday that the government has begun preparations for the 2020 general budget law. The Deputy Prime Minister for Economic Affairs, Minister of Finance Fuad Hussein in the British capital of London, British International Trade Minister Graham Stewart, and the two sides reviewed economic and trade relations between Iraq and Britain and discuss how best to promote trade and develop the role of the private sector in this context. The Deputy Prime Minister gave a brief explanation of the State Budget Act of 2019 and the government's plans to boost economic activity through the government program, the office said. 
noting that the government began early in the preparation of the General Budget Act 2020 through a direct meeting with all representatives of ministries, bodies and governorates to determine their actual needs. Fuad Hussein said he had held several meetings with Iraqi and international institutions to develop the environment of work, investment and trade, discuss topics of entry, reform of the tax system, walk marquee and development of banking, etc. In order to facilitate the work of companies and the private sector, Iraqi and foreign, Britain is an important partner for Iraq and we are interested in increasing the balance of trade between the two countries, he said. For his part, Stewart stressed his country's full readiness to cooperate with the Iraqi government to develop the working environment, exchange experiences, increase the volume of trade and urge British companies to take advantage of investment opportunities in Iraq. The establishment of three companies in the Ministry of Electricity worth $5 billion April 10, 2019 Economy News Baghdad Economy News obtained documents concerning the approval of the Cabinet to establish three public companies under the Ministry of Electricity with a value of $5 billion, 6 trillion dinars. The first is the General Electric Power Transmission Company Northern Region with a capital of 2, 2 trillion dinars. Its scope will be in Ninawa Province, Kirkuk, Salah Aldin, Diala and Anbar. The company aims to support the national economy and the development of industrial production in the field of transmission of electric power from production plants to the conversion plants. It will operate and maintain power transmission lines and sell and buy energy from neighboring countries as well as other business. The second is, the General Company for Electric Power Transmission Central Region, with a capital of more than 3 trillion dinars. The scope of its work will be in the governorates of Baghdad and Wasit. The company will perform a number of tasks including the benefits of cash surpluses and contribute to the participating companies or participate with them in carrying out related works. The company is authorized to conduct all legal transactions and conclude contracts that it deems appropriate for its business. The third company is the General Electric Power Transmission Company Southern Region. Its capital is 852 billion dinars. The company will be headquartered in Basra and the scope of its work will be limited to Basra, Dikar, Muthana and Misan governorates. The company will sell electric power from neighboring countries and engage with Arab and foreign companies and institutions to carry out work related to the company's objectives inside Iraq as well as other tasks. Iraq, Egypt signed Memorandum of Understanding on Economic and Development Policy Making April 10, 2019 Economy News Baghdad The Ministry of Planning, on Wednesday, announced the signing of a Memorandum of Understanding with Egypt on the area of economic and development policy making and statistical work. Planning Minister Nori Saba al Dulami on the sidelines of the Arab Forum for Sustainable Development in Beirut signed a Memorandum of Understanding with his Egyptian counterpart Halal al Said in the field of economic and development policy making, statistical work, and international and regional cooperation, the ministry said in a statement received by the Economy News. The two ministries, the memorandum is an update of the development projects that were previously agreed, for its part. Egyptian planning minister Hala al Said appreciated the development in the areas of joint cooperation, which was promoted by the Iraqi government with its Arab environment, stressing continuing its efforts to promote the principles of joint Arab action between Iraq and Egypt. The ministers of foreign affairs of Iraq and Egypt discussed at the Arab Economic and Social Development Summit in Beirut, held on January 19 the past, regional and international issues of common concern and the creation of mechanisms for economic cooperation, electrical interconnection and exchange of experiences in the field building, reconstruction and sustainable resource development in both countries. Etisal announces the formation of a consortium of internet providers and offering discounts at prices. Tarek Terrier 2019-4-104-1950-9720-2019-4-104-1950-9720-2019-4-104-1950-9720-2019-4-104-1950-9720-2019-4-104-1950-9720-2019-4-104-1950-9720-2019-4-104-1950-9720-2019-4-104-1950
Quotation mark. Green Company, the strategic partner of the Ministry of Communications, has put forward several price discounts and advantages for these companies, ensuring the best services, which contributes to improving internet service throughout Iraq. And the Union Administration has allocated telephone numbers to receive citizens' complaints regarding the services the internet and its quality will be announced later.